nice read by Shan, uh, Archambault, seeing where Stephen Gray had left his feet and then attacking the rim. A look at Matt Bolden. It's hard to believe that he's already a senior. Here, if not, the quick foul. Here's Harris, and he's fouled right away by Dan Nelms. So Harris, who's already scored a career high 20. The only thing they got going is the Wendy's nine yeah. nine three pointers. Yeah, and free hamburger. I think the hundred point thing went out the window a while back. Okay. <laughs> But they're six of 12 on the line. What is it? Eight or nine three pointers they have to make, and then it's free it's it singles at Wendy's. Singles at Wendy's. Well, Harris really piling on, on the points now. McKillop turned down the three, gave it up to Nelms, who drives the lane. And a blocking foul called here on Bull Kong. So Dan Nelms, the senior out of Lake Forest, Illinois, with a chance for three. And a learning experience for Bull Kahn. If he watches this on the tape, you, you know, you want to challenge the shot, but if you, don't, if you can't get there, get out of the way and concede the shot because you got that 10-point lead. I don't think either one of these coaches are going to be happy with the defensive effort of their team. No, I meant both coaches like it. Davidson loves playing team defense is what they build their program on. And the same with Gonzaga. They pride themselves on the same thing. And there you see the offensive output by Harris, Zachary, and Goodson. Well, now with 50 seconds left, if you don't, yeah, you got a foul. You got it under, under 10, what we talked about. And now 10 to 12. Rob Zachary coming in for GU. And it's the shooters back in for Davidson, McKillop, and Kuhlman. Goodson attempts the second free throw. That one short. Rebound, Rob Sacre. First rebound of the night. And now he needs help. Got it to Stephen Gray. Couldn't have come in at a better time, Robert. Foul called on Ben Allison. Yeah. Sacre's first rebound with 43 seconds left in the game. <laughs> you know, sometimes, though, I mean, he's been challenged. He's. They've, they've had bodies on him all night. Gonzaga's been money at the free throw line down the stretch here. The final five minutes of the 12 of 15. When it counts, put them in. And Sacre makes them both. His career high continuing to grow. Now at 23. Helms inside. He lost the handle. Right to Grant Gibbs. Now you can see. And now Goodson. A 12-point lead under the shot clock. Davidson backs off. And Davidson's going to call it good. Gonzaga gets the 7-2 and two on the season. Davidson falls to 2-7. and seven. And Gonzaga now 4-3 and three in the battle in Seattle. And it ends a three-game losing streak over here for the Zags. This is a nice win for Gonzaga. Two great coaches, two great teachers meeting at half court. Two of the classiest programs in America, Craig. I totally agree with you. I, you Both know, do it right. They do it the right way. They get kids that they can teach and coach, and then they apply it on the floor, and you see it. And when you see that kind of stuff happening, you can't root, help but root for both, both sides. And really, two young teams. I mean, Davidson now, they're a lot like Gonzaga did when they lost Adam Morrison to the NBA. They had to learn to play without him. This yeah. Davidson program now has to go through a year, maybe two, where they learn how to play without Stephen Curry because for, for those seasons, he took every shot, every big shot in every game that they needed. He was the guy. Yeah. And and so these players have to learn to do that. I mean, you, and you lose to Butler the first game of the year, 73-62. That's, that's, that's close enough. to. And South Florida's got a team, you know, 65-58 there. You got some good parts. You're just going to have to let them play together, and hopefully that they come together before the conference starts and then go into conference and just make, make some noise.
Yeah, and conference has already started for Davidson. They lost to uh, the College, oh, College of, Charleston, of Charleston, yeah, who's picked to win the South. So who knows? And for Gonzaga, conference play is down the road, but they've got a big showdown with Duke next week. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. I wish everyone watching a happy holiday season. For Craig Elo, I'm Greg Heister, along with Nicole Zalumas. We say good night from Seattle, where Gonzaga has earned their seventh win of the season. They are now 7-2, ranked number 21 in the country. Happy holidays to all, and good night from Seattle, Washington.